Good morning. Hey guys, it's your girl Chef Rashida with another episode of Miss Goody's Kitchen. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a delicious French toast recipe with using challah bread. Yes, challah bread. I love this recipe because using challah bread, what more people don't know, actually takes this recipe to the next level. All right, you guys ready? Let's get started. guys so let's go over this recipe list really quick so we're gonna need hollow bread if you don't have hollow bread don't worry you can use any bread even if you like wheat bread you can use that as well then we're gonna need five eggs you can use your choice of milk almond or cow's milk whatever is fine definitely get yourself some coconut milk because that's gonna add some great flavor we're gonna need butter not pan spray but butter and I'll show you guys why later then ground cinnamon, brown sugar, and vanilla extract. If you guys want a great topping and have a great bananas foster recipe, if not, maple syrup, whipped cream, or fresh fruit is just fine. All right, guys, now let's get started. All right, guys, first thing first, I'm showing you guys the brand that I use of challah bread. I got it from Fairway, um, but any brand is fine. And the next thing I'm showing you guys is the type of knife that I'm using. I'm using a serrated knife. If you have something like that, you can use it. If not, it's fine. I'm just showing you guys because it makes it a little bit easier to cut the bread and it's like less work. Um, but mainly you just wanna make sure that your bread is the same thickness. Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. You can see I'm a lefty and I'm doing my best so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Lefty problems, but as long as it's the same thickness, you're fine. And then throughout this video, you guys are going to see that I'm going to speed it up. And I'm going to show you guys some live audio from when I was actually cooking this. And I actually pranked my daughter because why not? Saturday morning is at my home. You guys will see. So right now I'm cracking the eggs. I'm using a small bowl so that, um, you know, just in case I get a bad egg. You know, don't spoil the whole batch. And here's some live audio. In three, two. You need help from the phone. Okay. I will. My daughter is so sweet. She always wants to help. Right now, you guys can see I'm removing the, I don't know if you call it the endosperm. I'm moving that part of the egg. If you're from the Caribbean, then you know exactly what I'm doing. This is something we do in the Caribbean. Um, it, like they consider it to be the baby, but if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. It's just something I do when I'm cooking. Um, so now, the first thing I do is um, I scramble the eggs, and then I add my ingredients. So you see I'm adding my cinnamon. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my milks, my vanilla extract, my brown sugar. You guys are going to see my daughter join in, and... Her joining in is just going to show you guys how easy this is because I was kind of happy because I'm like, oh, okay, while she's doing this, I can, <laughs> I can start cleaning up. So, yeah. And then again, like I said, I'm going to be speeding up um, a huge part of this video because, you know, you guys can just see what I'm doing. I don't need to keep chatting. You guys can see for yourself. Oh, we're gonna go over the bridge, Brooklyn Bridge. Yes, because um, um, no. mama, I mean, drive um, over. Mommy, I'm dreaming um, all of us could go on the bridge. No, well, you're staying here. It's just me and daddy going. Where am I gonna be? Here. Like when we went to Jamaica without you, we're gonna leave you. No kids were harmed during the filming of this video. I was just pranking her. I had showed her um, some pictures of when me and her dad went to Jamaica and she was just like, where was I? And I was like, oh, you were at grandma's house. So I was just pranking her to make her think we were gonna leave her, but 
you know i just like to have fun okay if you once you guys get to know my sense of humor i'm like really sarcastic so i'm just kidding because she's like where am i gonna be and i'm like you're gonna stay here but i was just kidding but back to the video i'm showing her that you have to let the bread soak you have to let it soak in and um soon you guys are gonna hear voiceover that i'm saying you know pat 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 so 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 i'm just showing her how to do it but um you know she always wants to get her fingers into everything. But yeah, I was just kidding with her, guys. No worry. I wasn't going to leave her alone. Cup, so cup, so cup. <laughs> Mom, Mom, is it okay if I can lick some? No. Because it's raw. Okay. It's so good. Put it over again. All right. I'm going to take it out, though. You don't take it out. I'm going to take it out. All right, guys, so I want to explain to you guys that it's a very important that you make sure that your bread is, like, soggy. Like, imagine wet bread. That's how your bread has to be. It has to be fully immersed, and that's pretty much what I'm, you know, explaining to my daughter. If you see her hands are blue, it's because she loves arts and crafts, but her hands are clean. Don't worry. But, yeah, so we're just pretty much patting it down to make sure it's fully, fully soaked in so that all that beautiful flavor is getting into the bread. All right, so it's time for my favorite part. It's time to cook the bread. And so, okay, don't worry, I got you guys. I'm gonna show you guys literally how I cook all this bread. Fast forward, but the first thing I want to show you guys is the color that you are looking to achieve once you are making the French toast, okay? It should be a nice, like, golden brown color. Um, and the bread should not be, like, swiggly and, like, soggy. You know, it should be cooked because it does have raw egg in it. And so you want to make sure it's cooked throughout. So for that reason, I recommend you cook the French toast. I want to say maybe at least three minutes on each side. Definitely. Two to three minutes on each side. And... This is what the butter is for. I was telling you guys, you literally are going to put butter around. And this meal, again, is, <laughs> is good for a cheat meal, okay? Don't eat this every day, but it's good for a cheat meal. But the butter is what's going to enhance that flavor. So you're going to put butter literally in between each piece. So let me pause so you guys can hear how this sounds. interception don't forget to subscribe 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 to my channel like comment even if you're just saying hey drop something all right so you guys heard like while i was pressing down the french toast that's like to make sure like all the egg on the inside and all that batter gets cooked throughout because remember we literally soak this bread in this batter so we want to make sure that it's like cooked throughout you don't want to bite into a piece of french toast and it's wet i don't want to think about that that's nasty but you know i'm just showing you guys how to do it. i'm gonna fast forward the rest of this and jump in when i feel like i need to but you guys can pretty much see what i'm doing before you put on a piece of french toast you got to put some butter down and then you know just make sure it's not swishy like i said two to three minutes on each side minimal okay this is ultimate guys ultimate french toast All right, another thing I wanted to mention is that when you're putting the French toast in the pan, be very careful because that bread can break on you and you don't want no trifling looking <laughs> French toast. So take your time to get it in the pan and make sure it cooks. And then also you guys will notice that before I flip, I'm checking it to make sure that it's brown. You know what I mean? You want to make sure it's brown enough so that you can actually flip it without breaking it. 
So you just want to like check, you know, take your time, take your time. It's French toast. I already gave you guys the secret sauce, which was the batter. So it's going to come out good regardless. Now all you have to do is make sure that it's cooked throughout. And right now I'm doing the itty bitty pieces. So like I was saying, now this is like the end pieces, the little small pieces. That's the end part of the bread. And me personally, I cook every, anything I cut is getting cooked because this French toast is so good that, you know, once it's there, whatever's left, trust me, it will get cooked. And I made a mistake of making this type of French toast for my daughter now. So anytime she goes anywhere and there's French toast, <laughs> she expects it to be up to this level and unfortunately it's not because it's not made with challah bread which is a secret secret recipe so you know i make this for her once in a while all right guys so here's the final product i was so excited i was so hungry and again if you guys want a great topping um you can use my banana foster recipe don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment i'll see you guys next time stay tuned for bloopers Started. I am. I'm gonna get started. Mama, mama, if you actually need help, call me. Okay, I will. No problem. Thank you, Mushi. Bye, honey, honey, honey. Bye, honey. See ya, honey bunny. All right.